Hello and it's part four of the WordPress themes development series using the blank canvas of the boilerplate theme by Tidy Themes known as Blank Slate. Part four digs a little deeper into the PHP conditional statement for front and home page settings. The PHP conditional first arose in part three with the overview of the header.php file which uh, also involved a little CSS and bring in the site to this stage. So here's the PHP function on line 13 and it forms the development of the site title. Basically it can be divided into three parts. In the first, the opening PHP tag is followed by the word if. Then we see in brackets is front page or is home and where or is represented by the double vertical line. Then to finish, we see again in brackets is front page and and home. Before the closing PHP tag, we see the word echo and the familiar HTML H1 opening tag. Right away, it's clear that this function is doing something to the heading levels and loosely stated at this point, it's happening in relation to front page and home. Let's look at the other two parts before unpacking any of this any further. And so the second part begins with the familiar HTML A tag and the link attribute href. It ends with the closing A tag. The PHP sits within the A tags and a number of things are happening here. But for now, it's clear that a key function of this is to make the site title link back to the front page. Moving on, the third and final part is a repetition of the first part but differs in that it is closing the HTML H1 tag. So a heading level 1 and a link is being applied to the site title and the word if is literally saying apply the H1 to the site title if it is front page or if it is home. To begin to demystify, let's give the three scenarios context in the WordPress admin. First, to create a new page to help demonstrate. Then to settings in the dashboard menu, and to the subheading readings. This is where the front page settings are managed. The options are to display your latest posts on the front page of your site or to display a static page on the front page of your site. And there's two further choices here with two drop down menus. The menu lists the page that I've just created and the default sample page. For the post page, I'll select the page I've just created and I'll select the sample page as the front page of the site. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm reverting to the default setting of front page as set to display the latest posts. Though switching between these choices is straightforward from the start in the blank slate theme, it's a little more complicated and future tutorials will work with these settings and the PHP involved. But back to the PHP. Until the more advanced tutorials on this, it's useful to have prior knowledge that these three scenarios of is front page, is home, etc. within the PHP here are covering the basis of all the possible settings via the WordPress admin for front page and for the posts home page. To make sure that a heading level one is always applied to the site title, but only when it's on front page and or the post home page. Again, I'm planting seeds. This grows rapidly more advanced from here because there's a difference between home and front page. You either can be front page and there are scenarios that require changes to the PHP of this front page, etc. There's also the case of dedicated files for home and front page to consider. Related future tutorials will address creating a static front page, creating a dedicated frontpage.php file and home 
.php file and the front page PHP conditionals. Back to this tutorial to take a look at the conditional output of the heading level one and the output of the link in the website itself. On the front page of the site, opening the Chrome developer tools from the top right corner icon of the browser and from the subheading of more tools, grabbing the developer select tool, hover over the element of the site title and the black pop-up box there confirms the output of a hyperlink on the site title and with a slight adjustment of the cursor to the right it now confirms the presence of the heading level one again this is the front page now remembering that this level heading one is dynamically assigned to the site title on condition that the current page relates to front page and home it follows that if I go to a page that is not front page or the post home page the level heading one is now assigned to the page title instead and the h1 of the site title is absent but i repeat it gets rapidly more advanced from here but i didn't want to leave a chunk of the header.php file in the shadows before moving on i'm going to finish up here and to summarize this was the first glance in this series at php conditionals in this case relating to heading level one, which was dynamically assigned to the site title and observed in the site with the use of the Google Chrome's developer tools. The hyperlink was similarly assigned to the site title to create a link back to the front page. The WordPress admin under settings and its subheading of reading is where the site's front page display is managed with the option of front page display as your latest posts or front page a static page.